Okay, we're back. Today we're going to fix a problem we had a while back ago, our GoPro trailer, which houses our GoPro mounts, <coughs> which is all this mess here, so get the camera up. Then of course I got my cover so that you don't see the camera from the side so much. You still kind of see it from the back and things, but I mean it's an attempt to cover it the most part, so almost like a little covered wagon area so you don't see it <clears throat> well what happened it's all made out of a, a plastic I just kind of glued together and this hitch part broke off so what I'm going to do today <clears throat> is I got me this little metal bracket this is a, a TP35 it's just a, a strong tie bracket from a from your regular hardware store it's meant to uh, tie down lumber to the house. But it's nice and thick and strong. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it up here, drill a couple holes, <coughs> excuse me, scribe the line, go ahead and cut the metal so it fits, and the bottom of this trailer will have a nice bigger toe spot than just this little corner. So maybe it won't break. All right, well, let me. Uh, get this plate on and centered up and stuff and uh, I'll be right back okay so what we've done is we've centered this plate up and I've drilled one hole back here this was the hole for the hitch and I'll just start a screw in here and I'll probably drill another one here for now and then uh, I'll put a few other ones in here just so I know to hold a little better and then we're going to scribe this line with an awl and then I'll go ahead and cut that. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> what we've got is we've got the screws. These are for the two things for the uh, hitch here. See it's kind of offset. Uh, so this one's where the little spacer will go on. This will go right into the thing. Now what we got to do is just uh, scribe this so we can see where the where to cut. And uh, I think probably the best thing for me to use is this razor knife where I can just scratch the metal. And then hopefully I can cut it either with my Dremel tool or I think this will probably work the best. This will get me the closest. Yeah, it's putting a good line on there. these screws back out and I'll show you what it looks like. Hang on just a minute. Alright. Well, we got the metal bracket back off and as you can see the there we go the lines right there that I scratched in the middle. But that's what we're going to cut off. <coughs> Sand it up a little bit. I'll probably just use my my Dremel tool, I could use a pair of snips, but I think it's going to bend it or a little bit. This way it'll probably stay as straight as possible. Alright, well let me grind on this. There ain't no sense of you listening to all that, and I'll be right back. Alright, we got our plate cut. We just used our Dremel tool. Now we just got to kind of reline the the holes up. Let's make sure we got it facing the right way. There we go. Do a quick little test fit. And then what we'll do is we'll spray paint it black. Let's make sure nothing 
sharp or anything sticking out. Just put a couple in here to line it up. It's going to be all right. These are just screwing in the plastic, so I'm not trying to tighten it too much. Yeah, that'll be fine. Plus, I got a little bit of play where I can line it up real well once it's the right color. But as you see, that'll give me a lot more anchor points than just this little tip, which is the part that broke off. So give me just a minute, and I'll see if I can get this painted up, and I'll be right back. Okay. A little Rust-Oleum flat. I prefer flat because it's easy to touch up. And we got our our bracket on there and it blends in pretty good now this ought to give us a good big wide spot to hold so now all we got to do is get our pieces on here so what we're going to do is bring this long screw in a little more so we can get our spacer on there did thread the metal so I'm trying not to get too much put a little nylon nut on here cables and all are back on for our lights that should do it let's get our oops. you gotta love the weird things that happen when you're filming that should do it now we got our wires and everything back so we can hook our lights back on the trailer this is a little loose let me tighten this up plastic so we don't want to there you go and we'll get our tire back on this was a real pain the first time because uh, the bolt I had was kind of short and I could get a longer one but I believe I can get it in there again that I hide that bolt to is to give it a nice little wrist spot. And there you go. So now our trailer's all reinforced. We got our steel plate. And that was a lot harder to cut than you would think. The Dremel tool was cutting through it all right, but it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And uh, that's my... <clears throat> my door goes flying open there. 
All right, well, we'll get this thing back together and grab one of our trucks here and uh, take her for a little test run and make sure everything's working all right. I know we added a few uh, trailer hitches on a couple of these other ones. I still need to paint them up, but uh, we'll take our old GoPro camera for a little run here and see how it does. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, here we go with a little test. There we go with the little test everything seems to work all right i think it'll be fine again trailer sitting pretty good you can see all my little accessories bouncing around now it's kind of nice i like having a trailer so i don't have to carry the camera not only that i can carry multiple cameras that way i can have the the trailer doing one and the uh, I can have the trailer doing one and then I can have my hand held so I can set it down in different spots and you don't see the camera quite as much with that little cover over the top of it alright well I hope you like the little repair um, please like please comment and please share and until next time Bye.